Hey guys, Indigo Priestess here. So the trip up spell. Um, of course, I'm going to go through this as slowly as possible so you guys can take notes. Uh, when I do client spells, I do not make videos of it because I think it's a very private thing to do. And I do not reveal my sacred space. I've only done that once, which was... Um, in my Thoth video and there was not much of my sacred space that I revealed so yeah I don't show my space so and I don't show my client work so I'm going to just basically run you guys through on how to do a trip up spell so what you're going to need for a trip up spell is chicken feet okay you can get this at your um de you, your butcher um whatever you guys call it in your country you should be able to get chicken feet it's normally one of the most easiest things to get um in any place well at least where i am so you're gonna need twine as well you're going to need a chili a whole chili it could be a dry chili that's fine as long as it's a chili you're going to need cayenne pepper and you're going to need a photo of the individual or the individual's name. Okay, so once you've got this, okay, in fact, once you've got all your supplies, come back to the video and listen to what I'm about to say right now. When it comes to spell work, it is important that one does it in a responsible manner. I have seen spell work miss people's lives up because they don't know what they are doing. They're just watching it and it's like, okay, I'm going to do this. Okay, the spell cost of the person, myself, or any other person that's making the video, they know what they're doing. Okay, we are including other spirits into our work and we are doing it in a responsible manner. If you want to do a spell like this, make sure that you have sufficient evidence. Make sure that you've done your divination. Um, on the individual to see if this individual is really trying to ruin the individual your client's life or if this person is really trying to um, basically destroy your own life you really got to think about it okay magic is powerful and it must be used in a responsible manner okay so if there is an individual in your life and you know they're trying to stop you from a promotion you've done everything that you can you know they're trying to take your man they're trying to take your woman then the trip up spell is fantastic um if they may be talking nonsense about you and just won't stop gossiping even after you've pleaded with them the trip up spell is fantastic for them it stops them in their tracks and literally will just cause so much chaos that they won't be able to even touch you they won't be able to even focus on you and they most likely will get some form of an intuition that um it's their own karma that's now falling back onto them if they just had to back off none of this would have happened so like i said you need your chicken feet you need your twine you need your whole chili you need your cayenne pepper you also need the photo or the name of the individual once you've got this you're going to take your chicken feet take the two feet take the photo of the individual put the photo or the name of the individual on to the chicken feet then take the twine wrap it on wrap the um, the twine around the feet covering the photo or the name of the individual okay um, I always suggest bringing in a entity that you would normally work with when doing this and doing this with a lot of passion and a lot of emotion whatever emotion you are feeling at that moment um, you got to add that into the work okay um, once you have done this so you're going to twine it halfway over the photo and then you're going to take the whole chili, you're going to put it onto the feet and you're going to twine it again. Continue twining it while stating that this person needs to stop. Continue twining it. Then you're going to knot it up. You're going to take it to the woods, to a bush, wherever you stay. You're going to tie it onto a tree. You're going to sprinkle your uh, cayenne pepper over that. And you're going to say your last prayer in order for the manifestation of this working to take place so this is a simple spell but remember visualization and the entity that you bring into this working is going to assist you basically in adding more power to 
what you are trying to achieve and as i said before is use uh, wisdom and do this response in a responsible manner and um, don't be quick to waste your time on any individual i mean this is obviously for a person that is really trying to mess up your life that just won't stop they're relentless they just want to you know they want to attack you they want to destroy you this is the type of spell you would want to do on them so yeah really powerful um really magical and absolutely does work depending on how you implement you know um all the aspects of what i've mentioned into the working into the spell of course a lot of shamans healers and spiritual workers and um pagans witches whatever you want to call us we know um that we have to put a lot of other different aspects into our work and it takes many years to be able to get to get to that point and what's really benefited me was going into Santeria, going into Palamayumbe and adding those powerful aspects into my work and really seeing things manifest so much faster than what it would have had I just stayed in one pathion. And this is what I love about opening your mind up and exploring in a responsible manner. And I can truly sit here and say, I know my shit and I know what I'm doing. So always do your research and do it in a responsible manner. And um, yeah, that's the trip up spell. Hope you guys took down your notes. Really easy. Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, stay tuned for more. And if you have any questions, if you'd like a consultation, please email me. Um, or my partner, Damon Dark, and we'll be more than happy to... Um, help you guys. So yeah, ciao.